Y'all, life is so simple. We make life so complicated. Stop making a big deal out of the little things. Cause I got big deals and I got little things. That's one of my favorite songs by Beyonce. Just that line alone. Stop making a big deal out of the little things. Cause I got big deals. And I got little things. Hey Miss Fatty Fatty, you a murder Millie love it the way you twist on a turn up I thought on love of my girl, you a burn up A nice a girl you'll be never ever heard of Hey Miss Fatty Fatty, you a murder Millie love it the way you twist on a turn up I thought on love of my girl, you a burn up You a burn up I saw me go so good, they kitty them pretty so they dog them up Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel If you are new here, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey Today's video, as you can see by the title, is a chit chat, get ready with me. This is a two in one, get ready with me. We are achieving this fall look that you see here. Somewhat of a dramatic look, I would say, but makeup process was super simple. I think this look just brings everything out. And also we are doing a outfit of the day and scent of the day. And yes, we're also sipping some wine today and addressing some really juicy topics. So make sure that you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, grab you a snack, and enjoy today's video. Y'all, that wine almost took me out just now. Like, I just swallowed it wrong, and I just, I almost coughed everything out. And it's like, for a minute, I felt like I couldn't breathe. Oh, child. Let's get into this get ready with me, girl. I'm already a couple sips in, and y'all know how I get when it comes to wine. Y'all know how I get. I'm super excited. I set up my little filming area for the day. Today's look, what I wanna go for is a um, like fall look, smoky eye. Yeah, let's get into this video. I also asked y'all for some topics on Instagram. Y'all have sent more than enough. So while I do my makeup today, I'm gonna try to, you know, talk about these topics. Now I have a sit down video coming up, like life update, career update. But today I was just like, touch up on a few of them so let's get ready girl how y'all been happy fall you guys how y'all been doing how y'all doing comment down below if you are like this but before doing my makeup i like to apply some clear lip gloss on <clears throat> but by the time you know i'm ready to put on my lipstick at the end you know it'll kind of set in but this is actually from my website you guys this is called glossy it's a new and improved formula and packaging as well it's not sticky, it smells so good, it's super lightweight. Y'all would love this one, so check the description box down below to purchase yours. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is spray this Malio the Best School facial spray on. Oof. And that's just to like moisturize my face. I have really dry skin. Uh, my brows are so bad right now. I'm just going to touch them up. And this is what I use for my brows. I get this from the beauty supply store, girl, or your, or you can get it online. But that's literally how I touch up my brows by myself at home. And I like to do my brows off camera, y'all. So that's what I'm gonna do, and then I'll be back to conceal them. I started to read some of y'all topics, and a lot of them are relationship-based. More so, like, after breakup, finding yourself, before we jump into the relationship talk, I want to address this topic that I have more than three people ask about this. So one of them says toxic friendship is the topic. And the other one is making friends. I'm going to put them both in the same category because they're both about friendships. So I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the shade medium beige and I'm just going to conceal around my brows. For me, I take friendships very seriously. My circle personally is this big. Okay, that's just me. I'm all about genuine friendships. I'm all about people that I can trust and people that I can treat like family. I don't have time for it. Toxic friendship, I don't have time for it. Just like a toxic relationship, cut it out. I'm on this journey in my life where I'm trying to find peace and peace only and I'm trying to find that mental peace, mental stability, and positivity around me so I can grow, so I can flourish, so I receive the same energy that I'm giving out, whether that is in friendship, relationships, family relationships, 
all of the above, okay? So toxic friendships, I think so many times we try to hold on to friends or relationships that you know no longer serve you. I had to let go of a really meaningful friendship in my life at one point been over a year now but and that particular person was literally like my sister somebody that I grew up with somebody that like we have pictures of us in diapers <laughs> my mom knew her mom my dad knew her dad and it was like like literally my sister but that friendship had some red flags beware of friends that are always petty to you beware of friends that tend to be jealous of you and beware of friends that just don't have your best um, your best intentions at heart. I'm all about supportive friends. I'm all about friends that are going to celebrate you, that are going to um, be sad with you, that are going to fight with you, that are going to elevate with you, okay? I am that friend. So if you feel like you have somebody around you that um, there are so many red flags, that person is giving like little envious, you know, traits, there are always red flags. You know those red flag emojis that be going around Instagram these days? There's always red flags. Sometimes you just have to let go of somebody that, you know, you care deeply about, but you just have to love them from a distance. Like, I have so much love for you, but that relationship that you and I have is so toxic for my mental. It is so toxic for my life. It's preventing my growth. I can no longer carry on. So make friends that are genuine, make friends that accept you for who you are, that are not judging you, that are literally, you will know. I feel like you will know. It's no bad blood, but it is what it is. But yeah, let's normalize healthy friendship, please. I cannot stand those type of friendships where like, that person's always throwing shade at you, always talking about, mm, what you got going on with your little business, with your little this and that. They're not supportive. If it's one thing I'm gonna do is cut you off, baby, okay? Because I deserve to receive the same energy, love, and genuine vibes that I put out. And that's on period. I'm gonna go in and blend out that concealer part right here. To kind of finish off with that topic, the reason why I had to let go of that friendship, there were so many red flags and signs of jealousy and signs of, there was so much and it was just a long process. It was so hard to move on from that, but it was truly a toxic friendship. So now I'm going to get into priming my face. Um, I'm going to use the NYX Shine Killer Primer. Now this is a product that I'll be trying for the first time. I got this from Ulta last week. I was just in need of a new primer. And one of the ladies there recommended it. Let's go. Why is it black? <laughs> why is it black? This is why it's so fundamental to read. It says infused with charcoal. What is the benefit of charcoal in it? I don't hear. Okay, well, at least it doesn't apply black. It applies clear. Foundation of the day is my Too Faced Born This Way. And the shade is Maple. It's one of my favorite foundations. So I got a new beauty blender today, y'all. The name of this beauty blender is Sonia Kashuk. I definitely butchered that, but... Let's talk about God, sis. Give us a mini testimony. Happy Sunday and God bless you. Where would I be without him? You guys know I am a believer and you know, I always just talk about how blessed I feel and how God, how God has poured onto my life, period. The only way I got through was with him, through him. There was a really bad earthquake that happened in Haiti. Injured myself by jumping out of a two-story building, landed straight on my back. I'm alive, I can walk again. The only aftermath from that was some back issues that I deal with. I believe that God saved me that day to be here for a purpose. God first and will always be first. You seem to manage your time very well. Let's talk about time management. I'm gonna conceal really quick and I like to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way as a base and then apply a highlighting concealer underneath my eyes to bring out the look. I've been saying and feeling like I can't catch up, like I cannot catch up. 
living here in Atlanta. I feel like I am always running behind. I'm still trying to find my balance. I cannot sit here and tell you like, oh yeah, I'm managing my time. I'm still trying to find my balance, but some things that help me a lot are like planning ahead, whether that is a physical planner, writing things down on your notepad, just writing down my goals, chiming down my ideas. Always challenge yourself, raise the bar higher, strive for more. You know, unless you're a billionaire baby or you got a sugar daddy, but you should still strive for your own. The Atlanta lifestyle, it is so fast. Like, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my like highlighting concealer. This concealer is like two shades brighter, so it can bring out my under eye. Oh, I got a new concealer today. I'm gonna mix the Ellie Girl with this e.l.f. concealer that I got today. I went to Target and I just wanted to try out some newer products. So this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This new concealer I'll be trying, you guys, is called Medium Beige. E.l.f. E.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Ah. Oh. Hopefully it's not too bright. Okay, there is one topic I wanna to talk about that is not on here, but it's just something that I just thought about. Like I was literally changing out my battery here on my camera and it kind of crossed my mind. We are in quarter four of 2021, October, almost done. And I just wanna come on here and tell you that you still have time. That's just the name of this topic you still have time. You still have time to go after your goals, girl. You still have time to start your business. You still have time to go to school for that thing you've been really thinking about, like that's been really, really in your mind, but you know that you've been um, putting behind and doubting yourself and coming up with excuses for. You still have time to get your dream place. You still have time to get your dream car. You still have time to just achieve your goals and do better and give yourself better like y'all it is that time to hustle it is that time to go after your goals get a pen and paper and write down every single goal that you want and start tackling them one by one like you can do anything that you put your mind and hard work towards like and listen start planning 2022 Next year is a reset for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You want to start that business? Okay, let's start looking up how to start a business. How you get your LLC? Where do you get your vendors? Literally walk yourself through those steps one by one by one. You still have time. Don't let nobody hold you back. Don't wait on nobody's approval either. Believe in yourself. That's all that matters. Just go after it. That's that. Can y'all comment down below and say, yes, I still have time. I'm going to achieve my goals. I'm going to get this condo I've been wanting. I'm going to get this business I've been wanting. You still have time. You see your mind is the biggest weapon. If you tell yourself, I can't do it. I'm not good enough. I would never succeed. Whatever you tell your mom, you gonna start living your lifestyle towards that thought. But if you tell your mind, I can go against that odd. I can, I can make this happen. I can defy all odds. I can be that girl. I can be that guy. Girl, ain't nothing can stop you, okay? Nobody. With God's will, nobody can stop you. I just got super deep and super passionate right now. But that's just something I want to tell y'all. Okay, this bronzer I'm using is by Morphe. One of my favorite bronzers. It's a powder palette. It's a palette. This is the AR That's Rich palette. It has my favorite bronzers. It has a highlighter down here, like a gold highlighter, and it has some blushes that I use. And then I go in with that same powder with a brush like this and contour my nose. Like so, like that. Okay. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty. This is my favorite um, setting powder. Pro Filter Honey. It just doesn't leave a white cast on my face. <laughs> it's pigmented. The perfect shade for me, I feel like. So I just use my Beauty Blender and go in everywhere that I had applied some concealer. I go in, or you know, my T-zone area as well. 
Yo, I'm trying to post this video today for y'all, and let's just hope we can make that happen, okay? So now we're gonna get into the eyes, which is exciting because that's what's going to define the fall of this look. I'm gonna be going in with two different palettes here. I'm using Beauty Bakery Proof is in the Pudding eyeshadow palette. I really love the shades in here. They do scream fall. And then this other palette is from Sani Beauty. One of my subscribers sent me this in my PO box. She is a business owner. And y'all, this is the perfect palette for fall and all year round really. It has all of the shades that I love to use. They're super pigmented, great quality, long lasting. Shout out to you girl, Sani Beauty on Instagram, black owned, S-A-N-N-Y Beauty. So check them out. I mean, I'm just freestyling. I'm going, I'm starting on my, on the crease of the eye and just starting with something, something light and then I'm gonna build it in. How to be your best self in your 20s. This topic alone deserves a video for itself. I'm still in my 20s, I'm still learning a lot. I just turned 26, October 12th, birthday vlog coming soon. But I just feel like your 20s is that time to really learn a lot about yourself, to give yourself the best. I don't think anything should be limited to age, but I feel like your 20s is that time to grind. You're full of energy, you're full of life. Don't take things too serious. That's what I've learned, honestly, being 26. It's like, there's so many things that took so much of my energy, time, and that I let affect me. Now looking back, I'm like, girl, it, it, it was not that serious. Don't be too hard on yourself in your 20s, like you're going to make mistakes. All of these experiences that you're going through in life right now are literally building you for your future self. Yes, look at this color. This is called copper. Let me show it to y'all. Copper. I don't know, I just said, hey, let me put this on my lid. I'm really freestyling. My best makeup looks come out when I freestyle. Like, I don't wanna over prepare it, you know? Don't take relationships too serious in your 20s. Now, if you found you a good thing, Okay, when I say good thing, you just know it. Hold on to that, cherish that. But girl, them them little boys that wanna play around with you, you know, them relationships you're not sure about, them red flags, red flag emojis that you be experiencing, don't take this too serious. Date, have fun. Um, you'll have all the time to settle down. And then this is the most important thing, I feel like in your 20s, you should not care what other people think that much. Some people just genuinely wanna give you advice and want the best for you, but you have those people that are constantly, and that could be your own family members, girl, putting you down. Don't take nobody's like, no. Now that I'm in my, I'm gonna say I'm in my late 20s since I've crossed over 25. Um, I am be becoming, I am really focusing on myself right now. I'm really trying to see what do I like and literally giving myself that time and energy because I deserve it. We make life so complicated. Life is simpler than that, bro. Simpler than that. Don't stress about the little things. Stop making a big deal out of the little things cause I got big feels and I got little things. I got everything I'm asking for but you. That's one of my favorite songs by Beyonce. Just that line alone. Stop making a big deal out of the little things because I got big deals and I got little things. <laughs> Wait, this might be a little much, but this is cute. This is called Icy. So now let's get into the lashes, you guys. And this lash style is also from my website. I haven't named this yet. I've literally just got this from my vendor and this is gonna be new on the site. I'm gonna call it like Shmoney or something. Cause look at the box. It's gonna be called Shmoney. Lashes are on. Lashes are on. Love, 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 love. A lot of questions about my dating life. How's your dating life? Dating, by the way, I've seen your Mr. Sir in your vlog. You ain't grown, sis. Okay. Your boo, duh. Relationship, 
dating advice, dating tips. Your girl is dating herself right now. Okay, who is Taja dating? Your girl is dating herself. But no, I have a life update video coming up really soon for you guys. Um, Cause y'all have been going crazy. Y'all been going crazy on my last little vlogs now, my LA vlogs. Dating, I think dating should be fun. Dating should be with a purpose. And dating should be intentional, you know, like again, with a purpose. If you're dating right now, girl, make sure you're getting the best experience. We don't have the time for the minimum. Like, no, I'm not a minimum girl. Like, I deserve better. I deserve that. Okay, if they're treating you right, sis, cut them off. Walk them like a door. No, 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 no. Just cut them off. Just cut them off. That's it. I'm in love with these lashes, y'all. Like, in love. 100% meek. Okay, so now let's try this new blush that I got today from Black Radiance. Um, it's a baked blush. The shade is Toasted Almond 8306. I turned down the lighting a little bit. Mm, smells good. Yeah, I like it. How to avoid broke men that don't match up to your level of standard financially. Wow, six. I don't think you should be with somebody just for financial reasons, you know what I'm saying? Because there's so much more to love, there's so much more to life, you're looking for a life partner. But, 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 I think it's very important to also be with somebody that you feel like can financially provide that for themselves as well and can be a man in the house, can be a um, Somebody that you can depend on if you have to. Like, I'm all about get your own sis. Don't depend on nobody. But I I believe that it is important to get somebody that, um, you know, matches your hustle, matches your grind, that can financially provide and somebody that you're not going to have to take care of. You know what I'm saying? I feel like our generation these days, the woman, a lot of times the woman is the hustler. She's the one, like, providing now. And it's like... If I can do good by myself and you're not really adding onto my plate, then what do I need you for? You gotta add into my plate, not just financially, but also adding in to me in other aspects of life and in a relationship. You gotta add. Just like I'm adding onto your plate, you gotta add onto mine. Like I said, I'm definitely not like, oh yeah, he gotta, he can't work no nine to five. I'm not like, no, that's not what, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm getting onto my lips now. Um, I'm just using this lip pencil. I don't know if I want to do a dark lip or a nude lip. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all won't believe where this lipstick is from. I got this lipstick over a year ago. At um, There was a semi-annual sale happening at Victoria's Secret, and they just had a line of liquid lipsticks, and they were on sale for like, maybe like five for 20 or five for 15 or I know I knew it, it just sounded really good there's a nude one that I always use before I put on my lip glosses and then this one I've used before and there was the red but yeah it definitely it's a great quality so it's matte but not dry so so I'm gonna go ahead and um fix my hair I'm just gonna do a middle part um wet it fix up my baby hairs and throw on my fit and I'll be back to let y'all know about my outfit. This completes the makeup look y'all. I'm gonna get into outfit with y'all. I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of footage, a little b-roll on what I'm wearing today and I'll be sure to include the details in the description box down below for y'all but just stay tuned. But this is the final look of my hair. I just waited, touched up my baby hair. Um, the tutorial on this wig will be coming up really, really soon. For a scent of the day, mm, this smells so good. L'Amoureuse Les Infini. This is like, definitely, it's giving for all. It smells so good. I like to mix my scent sometimes. I'm gonna mix it in with this Marc Jacob mm, Decadence. And they honestly, 
pair perfectly with each other. Tá 